Hello everyone, my name is Jacqueline and I'm going to share a little bit of information on this project with Cascadia Research Collective looking at the diving behavior of false killer whales from two populations across Dail and lunar cycles in Hawaiian waters. There are two island associated populations of false killer whales in Hawaiian waters. The first is the main Hawaiian island stock, which was listed as endangered in 2012 and indicated by the red outline here and the Northwestern Hawaiian Island population, which is indicated by the green outline here. Observational studies often find this species feeding during the day on the surface on epipelagic fish species, with the epipelagic layer referring to the surface down to as far as about 200 meters. And there is some additional evidence that they may also feed on species in the mesopelagic layer, which is the layer below the epipelagic layer, based on stomach content analyses from a couple of individuals. So to better understand the two island associated populations diving behavior, which can in turn provide insights on foraging patterns, we analyzed depth transmitting satellite tag data that were deployed on individuals from both populations. We first found that diving patterns likely shift based on the distribution of prey across populations and light cycles. So the Northwestern Hawaiian Island population dove on average deeper and further from shore than the main Hawaiian Island population. Next, we found that deep dive rates were highest during dawn and day. So this is an example of a dive profile from one individual where the white bars represent day and the gray bars represent night and the blue vertical lines represent individual dives. And we can see that the deeper dive rates are higher during the day and the dawn compared to night and dusk. And the deepest dives mostly took place during dawn and day, as you can see by where these arrows are pointing. Of note, some of these dives are within the range of where we would expect the mesopelagic layer to be, suggesting that these individuals may target both epipelagic and mesopelagic prey. Adding in the bathymetric depth, represented by the dash line here, we can see that there are cases when dives are close to the sea floor, also suggesting this may be important foraging habitat in some instances. And then finally, we found that dive depths and durations varied across the lunar cycle at night. And we found specifically that deep dives at night were deeper and longer during periods of greatest moon illumination, so periods when there was a full moon. And this is important because if these individuals' dive behavior is being influenced by the lunar light cycle, we would expect to see a difference, especially at night when the moon is illuminated, and that is what we see here. So with that, I would like to thank you all for listening and thank everyone who's been involved in this project. Um, this poster is available for you to delve more into and I left my email up here if there's any additional questions or comments. Thank you so much.